Hey everyone, it's Golden Sid, and today we're going to be talking about the FNAF lore, because I have some things to say about it, and I've never really talked about the FNAF lore before on my channel. For anyone who's ever bothered learning the FNAF lore, you know that it's, uh, complicated. So, that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't talked about it on my channel. Also because, you know, I just didn't feel like it. But, recently there have been some interesting videos made about FNAF lore, and I wanted to talk about them. So you may know the channel FNAF, but basically, uh, John from FNAF made a few security breach theories. FNAF's theories actually got me back into FNAF lore because back when MatPat was making his security breach theories, I didn't really like them. But it's not MatPat's fault, he's just giving us theories based off of the lore he was presented with. Which brings me to the point of, the FNAF lore is too confusing. See, everyone knows the basics of the lore. You know, five kids got killed. They possessed the animatronics, it was done by a dude named Purple Guy, then it starts getting confusing with other stuff. I don't know who wrote the lore for Security Breach, but it, it sucks. Security Breach retcons so much, and then they bring back William Afton, it's, it's terrible. One of the things I don't like about Security Breach lore is the fact that William Afton came back, so Henry's badass speech didn't work on him, so now it's less badass. You're telling me the only good ending we've ever gotten in a FNAF game turns out to be not a good ending because it didn't even work? Ha! Ah! I'm never playing again! You gotta understand how frustrating it is that literally you made a whole bunch of lore for one game that later becomes useless. Bro, back when MadPat made his FNAF theories on Security Breach, I literally lost interest in the lore. Like, like the lore of FNAF used to be interesting to me. I mean, confusing, but interesting. Then he made those videos, I was just like, ah oh, man, this sucks. And then when FNAF finally made his lore videos on Security Breach, I actually gained interest again because, okay, that's an interesting way to put it. I can actually get on board with these theories. And it wasn't MatPat that made me lose interest in particular, it was just like how the lore was at the time and what we knew, which, you know, really made the lore unlikable. But FNAF did do a good job with his lore videos because while I was watching them, I got goosebumps, so good job, John. It's just at this point, the FNAF lore is so confusing that they're just gonna have to start answering some things to help us out here, fam, because, like, this is too much. Or at least make some of the lore easier to tackle, because still, it's confusing. I do want to say, though, that not all of MatPat's security breach theories have sucked. There have been some of them that I actually like, and some that are alright. But, yeah, most of them are pretty out there. Kind of like the video where he said Golden Freddy didn't exist. Really? Like, sometimes I just feel like he throws shit at the wall to see what sticks. But I can't get too mad at MatPat because I'm not trying to solve the FNAF lore, so, you know, I have to give him props there. Anyways, that's all. It's just that the FNAF lore is too confusing. So, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.